That day the police came to another call. Locals complained about their upstairs neighbors. Heartbreaking female screams could be heard from the apartment. When police officers broke down the door and burst into the room, they saw something terrible. There was blood everywhere, and a woman was lying on the floor in the hallway. She was covered in blood, and her face was disfigured. Her ears and nose were cut off, but she was still alive. There was a man nearby. Police officers detained him, and during a search they found her severed ears and nose in his pocket. This is a shocking story of inhuman cruelty that everyone should know about. This story took place in Kyrgyzstan. The state is considered the most dangerous for women in Central Asia. Thousands of crimes against women are committed here every year – abductions for marriage, harassment, and domestic violence. Locals have long been accustomed to this state of affairs. And besides, the country's local culture instructs women to remain silent and endure. However, one recent incident in Kyrgyzstan shocked even local residents with its inhuman cruelty. The injured woman's name is Asel Nogoybaeva. She is an ordinary girl born in Tokmok, Kyrgyzstan. After graduating from high school, Asel decided to become a hairdresser. She received her education through courses and moved to the capital of Kyrgyzstan, Bishkek, as there were more opportunities to find a good job in her specialty. There, 19-year-old Asel met a guy named Azamat Estebesov. Their love affair developed quickly and they decided to marry that same year. According to local traditions, girls in Kyrgyzstan marry very early, usually before age 20. A couple who starts dating tries to get married as early as possible, which becomes a big mistake. After all, Asel married too quickly and did not have time to get to know Azamat well. She did not know that before the wedding her husband had already shown aggression towards other people several times, and the police detained him for this. At first, he seemed like a kind and hard-working guy to her. In addition, he grew up in a prosperous family. But only when they started family life did it turn out that the man had a very complex character, and sometimes he could not restrain his aggression. At first, Asel tried not to notice his emotional outburst. Azamat first hit her when their first son was born. After this incident, he repeatedly apologized and promised it would not happen again. Asel had to forgive him. Soon she became pregnant with her second child. One day a woman met her former classmate on the street and came up to say hello to him. They talked for only five minutes. However, Azamat, who saw all this from afar, became furious, and he created another scandal at home. As a result, Asel fell to the floor and suffered a miscarriage. She lost her baby. After some time, she became pregnant again. After the birth of her second son, her life turned into real hell. Azamat made scandals over any occasion because she did not prepare food on time, lost things or expressed her opinion. The man was very cruel, but for a long time Asel tolerated this attitude towards herself, because in Kyrgyzstan it is not customary to get divorced. If a husband and wife divorce, it is considered a shame. It is also a shame to tell someone about your family problems. Therefore, for many centuries, women in this region have sometimes endured terrible treatment and are silent about cruelty in the family.
Assel was also afraid to leave her husband because she did not want to lose her children. According to tradition in Kyrgyzstan, sons usually stay with their fathers. But after a series of ill treatment, Assel still had to contact the police and go to live with her children to her mother. The police detained Azamad for three days, but then released him. He became even more aggressive. Unfortunately, there is no law on domestic violence in Kyrgyzstan, and the police usually don't deal with family disputes. Therefore, no one can protect women from domestic tyrants. Asal contacted the police, but they could not do anything with the monster. They released him from custody, and each time they said, call us when he kills someone. Asel finally decided to break up with the abuser. She began living with her mother and children and got a job in the market. But even there, Azama did not leave her alone. One day he came to her work, presented a knife to her throat and threatened to kill her. He promised to kill her and her entire family. At the same time, Azamad always treated children well. He loved his sons and never harmed them. Therefore, at some point, Asel decided to leave her sons with her ex-husband and go to Italy for a while. She had relatives there who helped her to get a job. They understood that it was dangerous for Asel to remain in her native country. Her ex-husband threatened to kill her. She could not take the children with her, since their father did not permit her to take them abroad. Assel lived in Italy for three years. She worked a lot – as a nurse, a cleaner, and a dog walker. She saved enough money in three years to buy her home and open a small business. The woman wanted to move her sons and start new life. All this time, Assel sent her ex-husband money to support the kids. But when she returned to Kyrgyzstan, she discovered that Azamat was spending all this money on himself and not taking good care of the children. The boys looked very thin and unkempt. They also did not attend school because their father forbade them from studying. The children lived in terrible conditions. They did not even have normal clothes. Hassel took the children and began to live with them in a separate apartment. But all this time her ex-husband did not leave her alone. He followed her and threatened to kill her, because he could not come to terms with the fact that she left him. Over the course of a year, he sent her more than 20,000 messages by phone. She blocked him, but he bought several new SIM cards every day and continued to attack her with threats. The woman contacted the police about 20 times in a year and asked them to leave the tyrant in custody, but finally her ex-husband remained free. One day he tracked her down as she returned from the store. He threatened her with a knife and raped her right on the street. Passersby called the police. A criminal case was opened against Azamat. Hassel hoped that her ex-husband would be sent to prison and deprived of parental rights. But his relatives intervened in the matter. They threatened Hassel and her entire family. They also offered her a deal. If she recanted her testimony against Azamat, he would renounce his parental rights to the children and leave them alone. Hassel agreed. But it was a deception. Azamat was released, but did not abandon his sons. He continued to stalk his ex-wife. One day he waylaid her as she was returning home, pushing her into the apartment when she opened the door and did not notice him. He raped her a second time. Arcel again contacted the police. The woman tried to get the court to keep her ex-husband in custody, but the male judge sided with him and released him. The indifference of people around and the imperfection of the legal system in Kyrgyzstan led to a terrible tragedy. The 
This happened on September 20, 2023. That day, Asal got up early to send the children to school. As usual, they had breakfast and packed their things. But when she opened the door to go onto the stairs, Azamat was waiting for her. He quickly pushed her back into the apartment and hit her twice on the head. He began to choke her, and she lost consciousness. She does not remember what happened next. She woke up to her son's screams. A cell was covered in blood and asked for water. The monster gave her some kind of bucket of water, which was mixed with blood. He probably washed his hands in this bucket. But the woman was so thirsty that she drank this water and blood. At this time, the rapist was nearby, choosing a kitchen knife. He cut off her ears and nose and was also going to prick out her eyes. Asel could have lost her sight and life, but fortunately at that moment police officers burst into the apartment. Azamat attacked them with a knife, but they quickly knocked him to the floor and took him away. Hassel needed urgent medical attention. She could have died from blood loss. Emergency services brought her to a nearby hospital. But there, the dying woman faced the terrible bureaucracy in her country. It's hard to believe the doctors refused to take her and asked her to go to another hospital. They didn't even help her stop the bleeding. Asel was supposed to be treated in the hospital at her place of official registration. The injured woman was losing valuable time. Because of the hardened bureaucratic system, she had to go to another hospital. The journey took more than an hour. At another hospital, doctors finally took care of her. First of all, they had to save her life. And only secondly, they had to fix her face. The police who detained the monster took her severed ears and nose from his pocket. They put these body parts in an ice pack and took them to the hospital along with the victim. But too much time has passed since the tragedy. Nevertheless, the surgeons tried to do everything possible. Hassel spent about nine hours on the operating table. Doctors saved her life and tried to reattach her nose and ears. The maniac also slashed her cheeks and throat. Therefore, poor Hassel's face was completely disfigured. The doctors forbade her to look in the mirror and removed all the mirrors from the room so as not to traumatize her mentally again. But one day Asel broke the ban and looked at herself in the mirror. She screamed loudly in horror and lost consciousness. To restore her appearance she needed to undergo several more operations. Unfortunately, the authorities of Kyrgyzstan could not allocate money to help the woman. Therefore, Asel's family had to raise more than $45,000. First, surgeons must assemble a bone frame and reconstruct the ears and nose. Only after a few months, when the bones have grown in, can surgeons grow the skin. Recovery may take years. But Asel does not give up because her sons, relatives and many caring people worldwide support her. Asel's relatives also asked Azamat's parents to help them financially, but these people did not help and only threatened. This time the police had to provide Asel with security. Now a police car is constantly on duty near Asel's house. After his arrest, the monster tried to justify himself. He said that he had lost his mind and needed to be treated for a mental disorder. He also found access to a mobile phone while in custody, and even from prison he continued to threaten a cell and her entire family. In the letters, he begged his ex-wife to wait for his release and said that they should live together for the rest of their lives. 
Azamat also said that he was possessed by demons and pretended to be mentally ill in court. But no one believed him. The court sentenced him to 20 years in prison. He was also deprived of parental rights. Asel and her relatives were outraged by such a mild sentence. They want the monster to spend his entire life behind bars. Therefore, they created a petition on the Internet asking judges to reconsider this case and sentence the abuser to life imprisonment. Azamat Istibesov is a dangerous person for society. People like him should not live in freedom. These are obsessive and manic people. People like him should be behind bars. There will be a trial soon, and we are asking for a life sentence for this monster. He has already killed Asel mentally. He disfigured her face in front of his youngest son. People like him should be sentenced to life imprisonment, says the petition. The judge would like to impose the maximum sentence, but cannot, since according to local law, life imprisonment in this country can only be sentenced for murder. Asel understands that it is not safe for her to stay in this country with her children. When the monster is released, he will begin to pursue her again and will definitely kill her one day. Therefore, Asel will have to leave for another country sooner or later. If there is a fair decision, this will be a lesson for other men who commit violence. There is a lot of domestic violence against women and children in our country. If there is a fair punishment, many women will have faith in the courts, says Asel Nogaibaeva. In addition, a man can be released ahead of schedule under an amnesty. This has happened more than once in Kyrgyzstan when dangerous criminals were released from prison ahead of schedule. Azamat Estebesov may be free since the soulless bureaucratic system considers him not a dangerous criminal. He only injured his wife but did not kill her. But for some reason officials don't think about how much more evil this obsessed man can bring to a cell in her family. Unfortunately, the bureaucracy in this country is structured in such an unfair way. The relatives also want to punish the judge who released the monster from custody. This happened just a month before the maniac mutilated his ex-wife. If the man had been in custody, he would not have been able to commit this terrible crime. But due to corruption and the indifference of the bureaucratic system, the monster was released, becoming even more brutal with the clear intention of killing his ex-wife. Now, 36-year-old Asel receives many messages from other women from Kyrgyzstan. Many people support her. This year has completely changed my life. My life was divided into two parts – life before, what happened and after. This incident greatly damaged my health. But from a moral point of view, I began to feel stronger. During these difficult days, I saw the support of ordinary people. People came ready to take care of me in the hospital. The children drew especially for me and brought me their drawings. I was so grateful. Asel writes on her Instagram. Unfortunately, many locals in Kyrgyzstan still consider it a shame to talk about the violence they experienced. But until public opinion changes, women will continue to suffer and endure terrible treatment. It is not a shame to be a victim, it should be a shame to show cruelty towards defenseless people. It's all for today. Remember that evil is near. And goodbye.